Hello everyone. In this session, we want to take a look at implementing auditing using the command line auditpol.exe. In our previous session, we looked at advanced audit policies using group policy. But we can do the very same thing that we did in group policy with auditpol.exe. But mostly, auditpol is used to view auditing policies that are in place on a user or a computer. So that, I think, is the biggest thing that we're going to be using the auditpol.exe for in a production environment. Because even though we have group policies that we would have created, or even some advanced default audit policies, they don't show in the group policy window. But we can use audit poll to view those default policy settings that are already currently in place. So that is an example of why we need to implement audit policy using audit poll dot AIC, even though we are using group policy to create those audit policies. And especially if you're dealing with setting a local policy on a computer. Audit policy also allows you to create policies, to configure policies, and to modify policies. We want to take a look at an example of how we would view the audit policies using auditpol.exe. The parameter to view audit policies would be slash get. The parameter to set audit policies would be slash set. Remember that for your exam. Let's go ahead and we're going to right click on the PowerShell icon and click on run as administrator. Make sure we are at the prompt and we're going to type auditcall.exe. A U D I T P O L dot exe. space slash get don't forget the get is to view space slash category and we want our colon and then we want our asterisk because we want to see all of the policies. So our line is auditpol.exe slash get space slash category. And remember the set we would use to create the audit policy. And we want now to click on enter. And let's minimize the keyboard here so we can actually look at the settings. And you can see clearly, very clearly here that you have the policy on the left hand side and you have the setting on the right hand side where there's no policy set where there's no auditing set you will see no auditing and where auditing has been set or if there's default auditing you have success and failure success and failure or you might just have success as this one authentication policy change so bear in mind that you can set policies, you can set audit policies using group policy, but you could also set these policies using auditpol.exe command line. And I want you to bear that in mind for your exam. 
This is the end of our session, and I want to thank you for listening.